Oh my god, guys. Happy first day of Vlogtober. I am kind of nervous, but I am also really excited. First of all, let's all say good morning to Willow. Good morning, baby. Actually, today is September 30th, so I was thinking about when I wanted to start filming for Vlogtober and if I wanted to start filming tomorrow, October 1st, or just get a head start and start a day early, like film all day today and then edit it all today, post tomorrow, or edit all tomorrow and post tomorrow. I just decided that I probably will start today so I can get a head start and I won't be late on October 1st. I'm starting early. So that way you'll have a video on October 1st instead of waiting like all day on October 1st. I don't like to feel rushed. So today the plan originally was to kind of stay home. I was going to film like an Animal Crossing video like a, a what an animal crossing, animal crossing enthusiast looks like or what an Animal Crossing enthusiast does in a day or some kind of shit like that because that's what I've been doing a lot recently. I also haven't worked in over a week. That was my own fault, but also like I was expecting them to schedule me and they didn't, but I am working next week, so we're good. So today was supposed to be like, I was just going to stay home and play Animal Crossing all day, but I am going to be staying home all morning. And then in the afternoon, I'm going to my best friend Wendy's house and we're gonna play Animal Crossing at her house because she has opened her Switch for the first time in a while and has gotten back into it. So I'm really excited because I'm like into it now. <laughs> so I get to like share my obsession with her right now. Update since the last vlog, which was like two weeks ago. I got my nails done again. I probably won't get them done again until like November, but I got these. They're so, so cute. I love them. I got these done, not only because we're about to enter fall, I guess, but also because my dad, one of my dad's favorite colors was brown. I don't hate the color brown. I don't see how it could be a favorite color, but you know, do you? But his, one of his favorite colors was brown. His favorite colors were brown and blue, and I was going to get a blue nail set but I was like that's not I still want it to kind of be fall and I remember that he liked the color brown so I was like oh okay I'll get something brown and it'll work out perfectly because we're entering entering we're entering into fall and this is just a great transition it's not spooky by any means but I did want it to at least be on trend with it being it so I got this done I think three days ago John is getting me coffee so he's not here right now but if you see someone walking through the door it's probably him other updates nothing really besides the nail thing and just playing Animal Crossing all the time <laughs> and I have another video that I want to like upload but it's taking a while because it requires like waiting for things and so that one's not gonna go up for a while. Yeah, that's it. That's the plan for today. It's currently 8.09 a.m. And I'm gonna set out all of my skincare stuff so that way when I do get ready to wash my face, all of it will be out. I'm trying to get better about like when I do wash my face like in the morning at night that I have my skincare stuff all out so that way I'm not like contaminating my hands with a lot of germs after or bacteria after washing my face. Also, update on my skin ever since I started using all of my new skincare stuff. Overall, I haven't seen a big change. It's been a month. I don't think it's going to be fast results. For some people, it, it can be, but for me, I think it might just take a little bit more time. I noticed that I had a lot of breakouts at one point. I had like th two or three down here. I had like one up here, one up here. Oh my god, I forgot I had a, I had a pimple patch. I had a bunch and then it kind of all went away. I have a little bit of like small like cystic acne over here. Nothing so much on this side. And right now I currently have this one breakout and I don't know. I'm still trying to give it time. I don't really know what products would be irritating it. 
I don't think I have sensitive skin, so I don't know what products could be like making these reactions on my face. But for my AM morning routine, I have been using the Holy Hydration Keep Your Balance Toner from e.l.f. John picked me up one yesterday, and I don't know if I like it, but I just needed a toner. And I got this Sea Breeze one. I don't like it. I think it's because it has witch hazel and I don't like the smell of witch hazel. I used it like three times and I wanted to like gag. It just smelled so bad. But I do like this one and y'all have seen me use this before. So I just got a new one because I don't know what new ones to use. I also think my skin might just be getting irritated because of like the constant use of different products but and then we've all heard of the cosrx advanced snail mucin essence i've used quite a bit of bit of it as you can see and i haven't seen like a big big change again could be lots of different things could be this we don't know but i am using it i do like how it feels on the skin i've gotten used to the texture this i started using because i bought this on accident thinking it was another thing this is the coco kind ceramide Barrier, ser barrier serum. I looked it up and this does not like combat any of the other stuff that I use. Hopefully, if there's any like dermatologists or estheticians watching right now, please let me know if it is combative on anything that I'm using. Okay, there's nothing wrong with the ceramide. I just found out. The ceramide is probably not the problem. What I did find out, it's probably the retinol. And it's not the retinol specifically, it's what I'm mixing with the retinol. Due to the screenshot, it says you cannot mix retinol with other like acids for the most part. Like specifically alpha hydroxy acid, which is what my PM toner has. And then also vitamin C salicylic acid. Two two things that I use in my PM routine. I can't I can't use with my retinol. I don't know what to do. This one says to use at night. But I, I I, was told that you could use vitamin C in the morning. So I clearly have not done enough research as I had once thought. But I will follow up on that in tomorrow's vlog. In October, day two. But so far, I put this on and my skin feels so smooth, so soft. I really, really like it. It was the best accidental purchase. Did you see this right here? Oh, me, me, me. I was just explaining it on my skincare routine. Anyway, so yeah, I really like that so far. I don't know if it's causing anything on my skin, but we'll see. And then I've used this before. This is the Coco Kind Texture Smoothing Cream. Joke's on me for not realizing that things sometimes are water-based and some aren't. I think this is a water-based water one. I don't know if I like this, but I did buy like two at one point and so this is the second one that i'm using up but i don't hate it i'm just gonna chill out for the morning i got my coffee oh so good i'm gonna chill out for a little bit and then probably wash my face get ready for the day i don't know if i want to do makeup today we'll see also i've been using this the peach and lily i've used this much of it and i'm trying not to use that much of it because and I mentioned that, I think, in the Get Ready With Me that I did, like, like, last week. So, yeah, that's it for your morning announcements. I'll see you soon. This pimple is so close to the surface. Can you see that? First of all, like, from the side, is she, like, bulging out? Because if so, I fucking hate it. She's so close to coming to the surface. Just one more pimple patch. She should be gone. I wash my face. I put, I use my toner and then I put on the snail mucin. And before I put on the toner, I was like, oh, I'm just gonna put a pimple patch on it because it's so close to the <laughs> surface. And then I put on my toner without realizing that like, you can't put a pimple patch on after you put shit on your face. Now I'm like, okay, it's fine. I plan on kind of doing my makeup today. So I am not thinking too much about the pimple patch, I guess. John is left for the day. So now it's just me and Willow. I don't know if you can see her. <laughs> 
She's like on the opposite side of the couch. Oh, do you guys like the Halloween transitions? I really wanted to like do some spooky editing this year even though I'm not doing anything spooky crazy in the month of October. I just think I'm getting older and like due to like also mental illness, like I just haven't found interest or pleasure in like doing anything holiday related except maybe Christmas. Christmas, I love Christmas. Wendy and I have been talking like incessantly how we're excited for it to feel Christmassy. What I'm thinking of in the month of October, I'm so nervous to do Vlogtober because again, I don't know if I am going to do a lot, but I'm gonna try and try my best to keep vlogs interesting because I am a homebody, I like to stay home. I don't like to really go anywhere. Some days I'm okay with doing things on my own. And then other days I'm like, I'd rather stay home. I do not wanna go out. Even if like I need to go to like the grocery store or something, I just don't wanna go, so I just stay home. And I recognize that that is starting to become like a problem because sometimes like there are a lot of times where like I need to go out somewhere and I, I'm not going to wait for somebody to go so I just go but there's that event, the Glossier event and I'm just like I could go but I don't want to go on my own and I don't know anybody in Austin that would just on the fly go to this Glossier event because it is something that popped up on TikTok like it's like it was like a TikTok ad and like I was like bro I saw it last night and I'm like there's I, in what world am I going to fucking just last minute go to that I am really trying my best to not spend money this week because I haven't worked. I'm just trying to do the responsible thing and not spend any money right now. The last thing I spent money on were my nails and my electric bill. So I just can't, I can't. The only things that I really like deem worthy to spend money on are like food and like my coffee. That's pretty much it. I've been eating at home for the most part. That's kind of where I'm at. Oh, I forgot. We already have seen the REM cooling under eye balm. Look at how much I have left. I'm like scraping. I'm at the bottom of the barrel with this shit. And it's getting so hard to maneuver now. Like it's getting so hard to like pick up, especially since like I have nails. The Animal Crossing I think has helped because I will get an abundance amount of stuff. And this would just be solved if I went to, I went to a therapist. I am trying to get there. Infamously, Friends is playing on the TV right now. It seems like I always just have that playing wherever, whenever, but I promise you, it's not always playing. It's just you're catching me right now having it on my TV, and I lowered it down. Don't know if I really recommend this, this Sunbum face mist. I think I talked about it in a video a long time ago, how I'm excited to use it because it's like a sunscreen face mist, but I, like I said, I don't have sensitive skin and yet it kind of irritates my skin. So I don't know if I really recommend that. I also want to challenge myself to vlogging in public, which is very scary and daunting. I like attention, but like selective attention, you know, like this is selective. Like I am allowing attention to be on me right now versus like going out in public and vlogging. That is a challenge I'm giving myself during this month of Vlogtober. That's all the updates I have for now. I'm feeling a pimple come in right here and I'm trying my best to just avoid touching that area so that way it'll not come to the surface. Anyway, I'll see y'all in the afternoon. Look at that, 91 degrees. I mean, it's better than like 100, but still. It's one, about to be 115 and I'm gonna get changed into what I'm gonna wear when I go over there or when I go to Wendy's. So let's go in my closet. We're in my closet. This is John's side, this is my side. As we can see, filled to the brim. Uh, I want to keep it cozy with like a sweater or a hoodie, but I know I'll be dying. I realized I was gonna wear this on Thursday when I went to go see my mom, but it was too nipply. <laughs> So I didn't wear it, but I might, I'm thinking about wearing it today. John thrifted it and he asked me if I wanted it and I said yes, because I like the ribbed texture. I don't know if you can tell, but it is a ribbed texture and I really like that. I mean, Winnie's not gonna care if she sees my bulging nip, <laughs> but I don't know. I still, I'm not sure. Here's the top. As we can see, it's a little nipply, but, <laughs> but like I said, I don't, I don't think Wendy will care. I'm mentioning her so much in this video. Sorry. She's not about that YouTube life. Oh, hold on. Do I have another long sleeve that's like just as airy as this one so I don't have to worry about like 
getting hot and sweaty. I really want to wear a long sleeve though. That's like my band. That's like my dilemma. One day I'm gonna make a sweater haul because I just have so many. Or an outerwear collection video. Is that something that y'all would be interested in? Because I most definitely will do that. I have so much. 70% of my closet is just like jackets, sweaters, hoodies. Like I absolutely will make that video if one person asks for it. If one of y'all asks for an outerwear collection video, I will do it, point blank period. I also have this one that just says powder room. It's more like a custom for winter, but like I said, I wanna wear a long sleeve. I think I'm absolutely just going to wear this life is good tee. Okay, here's this other one. This one's a little bit more flowy. So that way, you know, the nipples aren't as intrusive. I didn't realize I would have this issue when I was figuring out what to wear. Oh my God, I could have used this the whole time. Anyway, so I think I'm gonna wear this. I might just wear these pink shorts. These like athletic wear shorts. I love it. Going from one pair of shorts to another pair of shorts, I make the best fashion choices. Okay, so I think this is what I'm gonna wear. Very stylish. I think I'm gonna wear my Birkenstocks. These, this is one of my favorite like investments ever are these sandals and I really wanna get the clogs, the Boston clogs, ugh. So this is what I'm wearing. I'd like to direct you this way to look at this little beauty. It's a little baby. It's just a baby. Oh, it's just a baby. Oh, it's a little baby. She's just a little baby. Look at her. Oh. What is it? Baby. Got some eye hoops. Can I get those for you? It also hasn't gotten better. So, hello? I was also going to do my makeup, but I decided against it because let's say it all together, ladies and ladies. And due to this pimple on my forehead, it's probably best that I don't. I also think I should eat before I go. It is one o'clock now, but I don't know what to eat and I don't feel like eating. God, our kitchen is a mess. Look at that, the sink. And then, oh, don't look at it. Just don't look at it. I might just eat some hash browns. You know, that'll take 20 minutes to heat up and I'll eat it really quick. It comes in a pack of 20. I've talked about this in a vlog before. Why am I Why am I talking to you about the hash browns? I'm changing this little pom-pom purin calendar that we have in the kitchen to October. Oh, cute. I'm gonna charge my camera battery and I'm going to clear out my memory card so that way if I do record on my camera, I have the space and the battery life scent of the day. This is Tonka Bean by Soleil Notes. I finally learned the difference between body mist and like eau de parfum and stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm getting ready to go. Is that a spider or an ant? No, get away! Oh, get out, get out, get out of my sight. Get out of my sight. Thank you. I just killed a spider. Anyway, I am using my new Bagu bag, Bagu reusable bag, and I just put some stuff in here. It's really big. Can y'all see this? Like compared to me, it's like a whole ass like tank top. In here, I put this collection album. This is my mini Amiibo set that I'm gonna let her look through since one of our villagers is moving away. And then I got this facial ice roller from work a couple weeks ago and I asked her if she wanted it and she said yes and then I have my MacBook Pro in there so that way we can go to Treasure Islands and stuff and then in a second I'm going to unplug my switch put my switch in my Animal Crossing case so it's just not rolling around in there I haven't used this in forever I'm gonna pack that in there along with the charger. John should be home soon, so Willow won't be alone. And yeah, that's it for the update. I will see y'all in the car or at her house. I say, I've i said that at, at the end of every clip, but I always find something new to vlog, so I hope y'all enjoy that. <laughs> I'm in my car now and I'm getting ready to go. I'm about to head out. I'll see y'all when I get there. I forgot to put on sunscreen. I'm gonna die. We're gonna get boba now. <laughs> Do you wanna be on camera or no? I'm just not contributing anything. <laughs> We're gonna go get boba at Bang Cha. We've been playing Animal Crossing for two hours. Maybe an hour and a half, honestly. And it's been a lot of fun. There's a lot, there's been a lot of trials and tribulations, but you know, we pushed through it. We're gonna go to Feng Cha and I'm excited. Feng Cha opens at, they said noon, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Feng Cha opens at noon for some reason, which I think is an odd choice. Okay, see you at Feng Cha. Got it. That's boring. Sorry. 
Hello? Lighting? The okay. sun's coming from this direction. What do you mean? Are you trying to be in the sun? No, I'm not, because it... <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I got a mango breeze with lychee jelly. And what did you get, Wendy? Milk tea, strawberry, popping boba. Yeah! And then... I was supposed to get strawberry cheese milk foam, but apparently they don't have that. And the barista was like really apologetic. And Wendy was like, it's okay. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Mm. So they put regular cheese foam on. Oh, it's still so good. It got hella busy in there. There were these three girls that were sitting next to us while we were waiting. All three of them went up to the counter after all. they all got their drinks. And one of them was holding their, I think they got like a taro flavored boba. And I guess they didn't like it. So they went up to the barista and told them that they didn't like it because then one of the friends was like, I wonder if I should tell them I don't like mine either. And we were like, well, you chose it, babe. And now it's like crazy busy in there. And I'm glad that we were able to get ours when we were able to. So we beat the, the rush kind of. And now we're gonna go back. Oh no, we're gonna get McDonald's because Wendy's hungry and I could eat the boba. We'll see you back at her house. Bye. <laughs> we have to wait for our food because it's not ready. We're pretty sure we know who you guys have been talking to. He is 30. She is. Little Tay just. If anybody wants to know what it's like to be friends with Wendy, it's this her scrolling through her TikToks and not stopping to look at any single one. My boyfriend. <laughs> Hey guys, this pimple needs to go. We're back at her house and Wendy has her game up on the big screen. We've got the Treasure Islands. We're, we're Treasure Island hunting right now. The only thing Kansas has is a story famously about being excited to leave Kansas. <laughs> well, we're Wendy. Oh my god, I'm here. Contact went to the back of my eye. I can feel it. It's there. It might be coming back. You need like saline or something? No. You're not supposed to put saline directly in your eye. Well, that was the only word I could think. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. No, I'm sure. It'll come. That's what she said. Ah. Oh, there it is. It fell out of my eye. Do you see it? Yeah. Good job. I want to get LASIK. I wouldn't have this problem. <sighs> I heard that LASIK is like laser hair remover. Removal where it lasts for a very long time, but eventually you have to do it again. You know what? I think you were the person that told me that when you get LASIK, you don't have to do it again. So which is it? Which information no, are you going to get? I think it's permanent. I guess I'm right. I've confused myself. <laughs> LASIK is permanent. Let me make my way over to the DIYs. Please shut up. You shut up first. You shut up second. You shut up the <laughs> Mingo. Oh. No, he's my friend. I'm my friend. Okay. He's like, what do I do now? Oh. What if I filmed you sewing it the whole time? Would you get stage fright? No, but you'd probably get a lot of comments of people being like, that's not how you sew. <laughs> Wendy played some Disney Dreamlight Valley for me. And she has said for like the fourth time that she thinks I'll like it. Don't give Disney free promo. <laughs> They're not paying you. You're right. Oh no, Mingo, absolutely not. Pick a different hobby. <laughs> he just wants to help. He wants to be your little assistant. Look at him so intently watching. She is sewing the rear view mirror scrunchie that I have in my car. She's sewing the little cinema roll like head that's, that's supposed to be attached to it, but unfortunately it came off because it was put together with glue. Oh, there goes Mingo again, trying to help. My man. Please. Different <laughs> hobby. <laughs> Wendy's doing that and then probably gonna head home here soon because it's like eight something. And we're 70 years old. And we, yeah. <laughs> I'm thinking about the days like in 2016 when I would be here till like 2, 3 in the morning. And now it's like we hang out till like. It's a Saturday. Huh? It's a Saturday. And it's a Saturday. <laughs> And now like we hang out to like 8 p.m. and then FaceTime at 11 p.m. the next day, <laughs> the following night. That's how it is being an adult, or at least it is for us. See you at my house. Bye, say bye. Goodbye. <laughs> I made it home. Well, good. Who's your baby? I hope you guys enjoyed day one of Vlogtober. Success completed. I'm so proud of myself. I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye. John says bye.